All right, y'all, we are back with another video and say it ain't so. We got the five, and they say that the five take down Jessica Tarlov after her opinion on E. Jean Carroll. Now, we all know that Jessica, she likes Joe Biden. She don't like Donald Trump, so obviously, it seems like she finna go ahead and say some dumb stuff. I guess she agree with E. Jean Carroll's case against Donald Trump, and I'm pretty sure this is what this is about. Because if they talking about that the five is finna go off on her, I want to see exactly what they are going to say. Like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everybody showing so much support. Everybody been leaving positive comments in the comment section. I also want to thank everybody who clicked on the video for the very first time. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. Like I said, please hit that like button. Watch the video until the end because it really, really helps me out a lot. YouTube will share it so more people can see my reaction. And that right there is what helped the channel grow. All right, so without further ado, let's dive straight into it. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go show Doug some love, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. Jessica Tarloff has a nasty, wrong take on E. Jean Carroll. Oh, man. We'll get into that video and a brand new um, basis for appeal launched by Alina Paba. Uh, this Judge Kaplan is corrupt. We're going to show yep. you how he should have recused himself, but did not. This sets up a great appeal for Trump. I don't. I still don't think he's going to pay a dime of this $83 million. I don't either. But welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenaple. This is where the happy patriots are. We're going to start with this headline from the New York Post. Trump lawyer Alina Haba demands details from Judge on troubling allegations he mentored E. Jean Carroll's attorney kind of kind of need to know information. Here's a few more to back that up. Here's Simon Ateba, one of my favorite journalists on Twitter. Breaking Trump's lawyer says the defense recently discovered a connection between the judge in E. Jean Carroll's case and Carroll's lawyer raising concerns, especially considering that one of Carroll's lead counsels had previously served as the judge's law clerk and it was previously known that the judge co-officialed her wedding. Wow. Now, we're going to go into the legal documents that actually show that this judge should have recused himself. This is the exact kinds of things that they're supposed to recuse themselves for. Here's another tweet. The judge in Trump defamation case never disclosed he was E. Jean Carroll's lawyer's mentor and employer. Robert Kaplan spent more than 24 years between 92 and 2016 at Paul Weiss, Rifkin, Wharton, and Garrison, where Judge Lewis Kaplan was a partner. There's the corrupt Judge Lewis Kaplan. Corrupt. Now, here's an example of the Republicans, what we do. Look, here's Clarence Thomas. Justice Thomas recuses himself from John Eastman petition. That's John Eastman, one of the 18 defendants in uh, Fulton County, Georgia. Clarence Thomas simply recused himself because he said John Eastman once clerked for him. So that's what a judge does. That's what Republican judges do. But only one side is playing by the rules. Now, here's the legal document that was mm. posted about Judge Kaplan. We're going to get into the small lettering here. If your honor truly worked with Ms. Kaplan. Now, this is confusing because both Judge Lewis Kaplan is one Kaplan. And then E. Jean Carroll's lawyer is also named Kaplan. Huh. Um, if your honor truly worked with Ms. Kaplan in any capacity, especially if there was a mentor-mentee relationship, that fact should have been disclosed before any case involving these parties was permitted to proceed forward. The issue is particularly concerning since plaintiff's other lead counsel, Sean Crowley, served as your honor's law clerk. And we were previously advised that your honor co-officiating her wedding and this is going to show that USC Section 455, that any judge of the United States shall disqualify himself in any proceeding in which his impartiality might reasonably be questioned. Additionally, Canon 3 of the Code of Conduct for the United States judge provides that a judge shall disqualify himself or herself in a proceeding in which the judge's impartiality might be reasonably uh, be questioned, including, but not limited to, instances mm. in which, and here's the second instance it points out, the judge served as lawyer in the matter in controversy or a lawyer 
with whom the judge previously practiced law served during such association as a lawyer concerning the matter or the judge or, or such lawyer had been material witness. So this by the books stinks. Judge Lewis Kaplan, you're a Democrat appointed scam artist. Yep. You undermine the law for everyone. Mm -hmm. You politicize it for everyone because now no one should trust you in their right mind. But there's always MSNBC to give you the out of their mind take. Oh, God. You've talked about using some of Trump's money that you're about to get um, to help shore up women's rights. Do you know what that might be, what that might look yes, like? Yes, Rachel. Yes. Tell me. I had such a... Such great ideas for all the good I'm going to do with this money. First thing, Rachel, you and I are going to go shopping. Feminism is alive and well. Rachel, girls, let's go shopping. Bling, bling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the civil rights feminist suffragette icon of our time defeating Trump. She's going to get all his money and she and Rachel are going to go shopping. What an idiot. What a deranged woman. She really shows how unhinged she is because Rachel Maddow like teed up the ball perfectly. Like here goes you, we can give to women shelters and she just undermines their whole case. And Rachel Maddow has to put on a straight face, ha 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 nervous laughter. And watch your lawyers, too. Ha, 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 nervous laughter. We're going to get completely <laughs> new wardrobes, new shoes, motorcycle for Crowley, new fishing rod for Robbie. Rachel, what do you want? Penthouse? <laughs> it's yours, Nothing. Rachel. Penthouse and uh, France? You want France? It's every woman's dream. France. It's ridiculous. A penthouse. We're going to go shopping. We'll get nice shoes and a pretty dress with sequins on it. And we'll doll ourselves up to the tee. And we'll, we'll cry during board meetings at work and manipulate our male bosses with our emotions. She's like every negative stereotype that terrifies feminists for years. I love it. You want to go fishing nope. in France? No? Oh. <laughs> all no. right. All right. Okay. That's a joke. All right. Okay. That's a joke. <laughs> that, that's a joke. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. I think she's being serious. E. Jean Carroll's going like, wait, it's a joke? Oh, yes, I, I guess it is a joke. I'm going to paint blue rocks with it instead and, and get more dogs and name the mice that I keep This is just house. sad, man. <laughs> what a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> Although if, if me fishing in France could yeah. do something for women's rights, I would take the hit. You know, I would obviously uh, take, take one. Good recovery, Rachel. Thanks for rescuing us. She's trying to put it together, what Eugene Carroll said. This right here is just sick. This one time, I'm going to buy you this. I'm going to buy you that. That's why I said Donald Trump is going to appeal this, so she might not get nothing while she's sitting up there acting like everything is all good. And then to come to find out is that this Judge Kaplan, like, he could be working with this woman. Like, how you know he didn't... Uh, do this to Donald Trump and try to make this man pay her $83 million. Maybe he wants some of that money too. And they working behind the scenes on this because obviously Kaplan, Judge Kaplan, he's a Democrat judge. He don't like Donald Trump. We all knew that. The man didn't even want Donald Trump to even go to his uh, mother-in-law's funeral. We all remember that. This man is a Democrat judge that don't, that don't like Donald Trump. And you got this woman, E.G. and Carol, sitting on TV just laughing. I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy you this. I'm going to buy you that. This is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous, man. Boy, boy, boy. And helping women's rights. Uh, okay, I'll do it. For the team. All, All right, right let me. Let me uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here's Megan Kelly on why journalism aren't curious with the possibility of Trump being innocent. They've declared him a sexual pervert, basically. And they want us all to go along with, they want us all to say it's horrible yep. how Trump keeps dismissing this woman, as opposed to let's just entertain for a minute the possibility that Trump is the truth teller here. And if he was innocent, then he would continue to say, I'm innocent and she- Yeah, cause it, it's crazy. You got to look at it like this. This woman talking, they talking about that Donald Trump paid this woman in damages because of the things he said about her. How do you think Donald Trump feel 
that he got this woman going around saying that he did something to her decades ago. Don't you think that damaged him? Don't you think that hurt his career, especially when he's uh, winning in the polls right now? And you got this woman coming out saying crap like this. Don't uh, ain't he being damaged? Don't she need to pay him? See, they try to make it one sided because they don't like Donald Trump. And it's just ridiculous. I just don't get it. This system is just corrupt. You didn't damage this man whole brand. That's the reason why they trying to go ahead and settle this now to try to hurt his poll number because he's winning and they know election is coming up soon. That's what they're trying to do. She's a liar and a lunatic. And now our court is threatening they're going to keep taking Trump to court if he keeps maintaining his innocence and going against their uh, ruling. And that she really is some sort of a kook who decided to make up a story about him mm -hmm. to get her name in the headlines yep. to potentially get money from a deep pocketed guy. The media has zero appetite for entertaining that possibility. Because the media is bought and sold by the same Democrat party that are weaponizing this thing. They're just trying to redistribute wealth, drain yep. it from Trump so that he can't yep. fund his own campaign. There's another $375 million possible judgment from Letitia James and Judge Engeron coming down sometime this week. Here it comes. They're trying to drain them. It's not going to work because the people, we have too much of our own wealth to distribute back into that to fill it. But, and remember, Hillary Clinton in yesterday's video was begging for money. So the Democrat Party can't get money for Biden. They're going to try to drain it from Trump, who always funded his own campaigns. But now here's the five with Jessica Tarloff going off and trying to use this $83 million conviction. Ask Bill and Barack to raise money for you and hope a pop star endorses you. Jessica, this is not the re-election strategy of a winning campaign. It is, in fact, the losing campaign of the Biden Bidens that want Bill Clinton to do fundraising and Obama to do fundraising, do not let Joe Biden go out and do fundraising and hope Taylor Swift endorses him that some polls have shown would help sway the election for the to get out the youth vote. That's their whole plan. Tells me everything you know about Is Joe Biden. Is the strategy to owe $83 million for defaming a woman that you sexually assaulted? I would love Taylor Swift's oh endorsement. God. Any politician would. I but I like you people endure what like I just Kid said, Rock. Because that was the news from the weekend on that side. And then Joe Biden was 15 Authentic minutes endorsements. late to church. And you think it's the end of the world. Late to church. He goes to church. You want to talk Jessica Tall out of it. She's just ridiculous. Like, like I, I, I mean... Don't Fox just need to just fire her and just get rid of her? She would just yell that out. Tell her, Donald Trump did this. Don't just be, dude, like, come on, man. This is <laughs> this is just crazy. She just literally sit there and just yell that out. Man, 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 man. Boy, if she get fired for this, I'm going to be laughing my butt off. I promise you that. Let's he talk about that. Let's talk about that lawsuit then. Go ahead, Jessica. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are that you shouldn't sexually assault people and then you shouldn't defame okay, them. Okay, what's he thought? Well, what do you mean you shouldn't? You shouldn't SA somebody and you shouldn't. Uh, man, come on. Just because it got settled and it was the judge that don't like Donald Trump and, and he settled it, you think that Donald Trump did that? And you got to realize, this is a judge that don't like Donald Trump. So, obviously, he want what's bad for Donald Trump. How we know this judge ain't in on it with E. Jean Carey to get some of this money? Like, y'all, just listen to this crap she just said. Listen to this. Because that was the news from the weekend on that side. And then Joe Biden was 15 Authentic minutes late to church. And you think it's the end of the world. Late to church. He goes to church. You want to talk? Let's he talk about that. Let's talk about that lawsuit then. Go ahead, Jessica. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are that you shouldn't sexually assault people and then you shouldn't defame okay, them. Okay, what's he? You shouldn't sexually assault people and you shouldn't defame them. Look at her face, y'all. She is dead serious. You shouldn't SA somebody and you shouldn't, and you shouldn't defame him. What do you think this woman is doing to Donald Trump? Don't you, don't you think that she's defaming him by trying to bring this up because he's winning in the polls? And you got a Democrat judge that settled it and want Donald Trump to pay this woman $83 million? And then look at her. 
They need to fire her. She need Jessica needs to be gone. I tell you that much. Two thing. Go ahead, Jessica. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are that you shouldn't sexually assault people, and then you shouldn't defame. Okay, them. was he found guilty of sexual yes, he assault? Was. He was a he criminal. Was, by a jury. was a criminal. In the criminal case, he was found not guilty of rape. That is, they did not charge him with that. And then this corrupt judge, Lewis Kaplan, when he started this whole second case with Eugene Carroll, said essentially. This sexual assault, whatever happened in that wardrobe, which is not as bad as what Biden did to Tara Reid, that it was essentially the same as rape. He has already set up the jury and said Trump couldn't defend his innocence. It was it says, that was civil. civil. Yeah. Oh, that means it, it doesn't just, count? Okay. It means it's not a guilty verdict. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, uh, it's always nice to bring something up that, that has nothing to do to with your, the topic. It does. He said the campaign strategy. You know, just like, stop interrupting everybody. <laughs> um, but she's saying that the $83 million does go into the election strategy. Mm-mm-mm. Here's where she didn't realize that she accidentally was right. Because in yesterday's video on The View, Ana Navarro said Trump keeps getting indicted. And now every time he loses, his polls go up, his ratings go up. They inadvertently are making Trump's case that the courts are corrupt, our very fabric of our legal system and our laws. It was never meant to happen this way, guys. You do not take a political opponent, take a a judge, an appointed judge by a Democrat, take all legal people that are Democrats, all juries, Democrats, with a lawyer that served as a clerk under the judge, the the prosecutors, and he mm-hmm. doesn't recuse himself. This is a monkey show. It doesn't make Trump innocent, but it 100% proves that they have no interest in living their life beyond reproach. Yep. Uh, they invite my criticism of bias of politics because whether if Trump was innocent or guilty, this would be the verdict. Let that sink in. Whether if Trump was innocent or guilty, this would be the verdict. And that's an indictment on the court, not on Trump. Exactly. Like Jessica Tarla, like, you know, she just don't like Donald Trump. So she pretty much, she need to be over there working working for CNN. That's what she need to be working for. She need to go over there and be working for CNN. Because, I mean, takes like that didn't have anything to do with the topic and she just yells it out. It is just crazy, man. Like I said, y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all of this. Thank you all for watching. Like I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.